Well, you've heard of the Monday Night Miracle. Well, the sports page of the St. Louis Post-Dispatch proclaimed Thursday night. The Thursday Night Miracle after the improbable win has them one win away from a date with either Nashville or Dallas. Meanwhile, the Winnipeg Jets are left scratching their heads. All three of their losses have been by one goal. They've had third period leads in two of them, and now the fate of their season rests on the outcome tonight. Chipped out of the zone by Sunquist. Foot race, and it's Dustin Bufflin ahead of Schwartz. Played it, though, right to Shen. Shen driving on the back, and he scores! The puck will pop behind into the crease. Jaden Schwartz, who scored it, the 1945 mark of the third period in game five, scores early in game six. As the puck goes in, the interference is where Bufflin is backing up into the goaltender. It'll be the initial touch. After video review, the call on the ice stands. Defended by Ryan O'Reilly. Pareko tries to jam it up ahead. Kept in by Shifley. Morrissey back door and played away from the net by Ryan O'Reilly and cleared. And it's Bollmeister getting there just ahead of Ehlers. To the line, Sherrod. Wrists one off the glove of Bennington. And it kicks over to the boards. Bufflin came in, created some space, let it roll through. They give it to Bufflin. His backhand hit the crossbar. The forward, Little, gets it deep to Bufflin. That's a terrific shot. Dragging the skateless throw. They go across. And turning back with it is Ross Glivick. Bouncing puck. Myers able to keep it in. In the slot, Perot with an open look. And a blocker save for Bennington. Serves it around the back of Jordan Bennington. Bollmeister ahead of the pack. Gets there, plays it with his skates. Turned it over. Tanev to the net. And a save from Bennington. He'll hang on. Billy Uso actually started the season ahead of him on the depth chart, but he played his way into a spot. And boy, is he taking advantage of an opportunity. Schwartz, Petrangelo, Sunquist, backhand save made by Hellebuck. Really nice puck work as Schwartz finds Petrangelo, and that's Sunquist. Mealers whiffed on it. Pareko will take it. Shoveled ahead. Steen across. Two on one. That's Fabry breaking the backhand. And it's caught on the second try by Hellebuck. Is he patient back here? That's hard to do to stand back there. Look out. And it sets up a try for Fabry off the arm of Hellebuck. The two Jets at the blue line converge. Nobody picked him up, and Fabry wants to go up over top of the glove of Connor Hellebuck. Loose touch up. Pass gets through for Line, who gives up the puck as Steen came after. Schwartz with Shen to the net. Jaden Schwartz takes a shot, kicked away by Hellebuck. Wheeler twists it wide of the net. Comes around for Perron. And then out at center ice, Tarasenko for Shen. Shen off the glove! Followed up off the bench by Ryan O'Reilly. Dish it back off. Perron will leave it. Dunn on the move. Sets up O'Reilly. Save made by Hellebuck, and he's able to hang on. Sends it across for Tarasenko. Tarasenko tried to force it across the slot. Comes back to him. He'll back off. Tarasenko on the move. Over. One-timer from O'Reilly. Save made by Hellebuck, and he covers the rebound with Shen right there. Hellebuck makes this stop and again leaves no rebound. Shen, Petrangelo, and back to Tarasenko. O'Reilly and Petrangelo playing catch. Petrangelo got one throw, and it lands behind the net off the arm of Hellebuck. Right side, Thomas. Thomas through the slot and just wide of the goal. Seven seconds to work with. Thomas across Bozak, shot hit escape. Winnipeg, a chance to answer. Here's Morrissey. Morrissey, glove saved by Bennington. That's the first shot of the period for Winnipeg. Pulled free by Shen, his option. Perron, he shoots, save, rebound, another stop by Hellebuck. Puck still loose. Petrangelo loads it, plays it across and show wide. What amazing work here again by Connor Hellebuck. Two chances on Perron, one on Shen, and then they gotta get across for the one-timer. Maroon, right side Thomas. Here's Dunn straight away, slides it. Bozak, one-timer misfired by Schwartz. Bozak, right back again, Schwartz scores! And you'll watch Maroon here. He gets in there, gets a stick right into the glove, and holds on to him. The problem, they don't have a challenge left. They wasted it in the first period, and they can't challenge this one. Back to Edmondson. One time, a rebound for Tarasenko. Poked away. O'Reilly turned it towards the net, but it's blocked. And Edmondson off the pipe. 
Joel Edmondson's shot from the blue line as the Blues pile the pressure on. Beats Connor Hellebuck, hits the goal post, it's still 2 0. Sent it as far as Petrangelo, Perron wide open, and it glanced off the stick of Chirac. And then the glass. Skip the oh. net off the skate of Chirac, and Hellebuck made an alert stop. For all the great chances they had, can you imagine if that's the one that goes in? They're trying to find something. Perot to the front. It sails on by Dustin Bufflin had crept into the circle. Played behind for Wheeler, the wraparound denied by the paddle of Bennington. There's Bufflin. He's going to be up in the play. He's going to try to create. He goes deep to Wheeler, who beats Pareko around the back of the net. Bennington gets the paddle flat. Awkwardly with the blues colored gear and the black and yellow sweater as they couldn't even find a home from in the American Hockey League. As Schwartz cuts to the slot, Jaden Schwartz scores! A hat trick! He freezes Hellebuck and beats him on the blocker side. And the ice is littered with hats as Jaden Schwartz has a three-goal game here in game six. In Winnipeg, a 2-0 lead in the third period washed away. And now the Blues, ten and a half away from advancing, is Patrick Maroon with a shot on goal. And it's smothered by Connor Hellebuck. And the Jets win it. Here's Trouba with a blast, hits the post. That's the second post they've had tonight. They had a crossbar in the first period. Off the face, off the puck, is moved. Bennington's beat, but gets a bounce. Ray, you'd imagine if there's going to be a push by Winnipeg, it's got to come soon. Well, they had one early in that in the period, but shot by Hayes. The rebound, they score. Dustin Bufflin cleans it up. Did you mean that soon? Apparently, we're not done yet. He gets right by Robbie Fabry and pushes this past Bennington, and now you're one goal from being within one. To the bench goes Hellebuck. He's on his way. The extra attacker is little. He gets on the ice just as Bennington melts it down. Shen trying to shoot it from range. Blocked down. Here's a chance for Perot cutting into the back. And they yeah. score! With 36 seconds to go, Brian Little, it's a one-goal game. And Brian Little is going to get to the front of the net and slam this by Jordan Bennington. And a comfortable 3-0 lead is now 3-2. One last rush, it's Line. In across the line, Line takes a shot to save from Bennington. Petrangelo clears the rebound. Bennington hangs on. Patrick Line is going to make this rush up the ice. Bennington a right pad stop. And then this secondary shot shoveled at the net. He's got to be sharp to stop that as well. Little, got it, for the Blues, take it over! Last place on January 3rd, the St. Louis Blues advance to round two. What a remarkable story to come from where they were, to race into a playoff spot, to get themselves through the first round. The Blues come out on top. Jaden Schwartz is three goals. The rookie goaltender Jordan Bennington does his job. And the St. Louis Blues will move on to the second round. They get a chance to take a breath. They'll get the winner of Nashville-Dallas.